What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a pretty fantastic day. If you already read the title, you know that today I'm taking you guys along and showing you what I eat on days that I train calisthenics as well as flip. So because those two activities do require quite a lot of energy, I tend to eat quite a lot on these type of days. So I thought, why not take you guys along if you're doing the same thing, if you wanted to incorporate flipping as well as calisthenics into your routine. You know, give you some ideas on how you should be eating because uh, I think I'm doing pretty well. And yeah, that all starts right in the morning. I just woke up and it's time for to eat some breakfast because I'm the guy who eats right off the bat. I'm not a fasting person. So let's go make some breakfast. Alrighty, so for breakfast, as you guys can tell, we had the oatmeal with blueberry, or we have the oatmeal with blueberries, some eggs, and then also my creatine, just like that. It's got the fats from the eggs, the protein from the eggs, the carbs from the oatmeal and blueberries, a little bit of everything, absolutely delicious breakfast. Cheers. And then, you can't forget, your daily five grams of creatine, of course. So depending on how long you've been watching my videos for, you probably know this is a pretty typical breakfast for me fats, the protein, the carbs. This is like the perfect way to start a day, especially if you're going to be really active later in the day. It doesn't feel too heavy in the stomach. It's a really important thing if you're flipping around and using your own body weight. You can't have anything sit around for too long. It affects you too much. So creatine for me, I use it every single day, five grams every single day. I find it super helpful for calisthenics and flipping and tricking in general because it's very explosive because the creatine you know your body uses creatine and creates ATP which is like an, a form of energy for like short bursts of um, exercises like sprinting strength buildings like a lot of bodybuilders use it to help build muscle because they're like, able to push for an extra couple reps but it's not like a muscle building supplement only it's just it's an energy supplement you know it gives your body a little bit more energy a little Oomph, a little cherry on top. I find it really helpful with my calisthenics because a lot of my calisthenic training is short bursts of energy, explosive movements, or just like short duration strength exercises. So I think it's perfect for creatine. If you haven't tried it already, I highly recommend you give it a try. It's not the end of the world. You can still make amazing progress without creatine. It's just a little bonus. So give it a try if you haven't already. That's gonna be breakfast. And now we just chill and relax until it's training time. Alrighty, it is now time, because as you can tell, I got my red bandana on. It's time for the first workout of the day, which is going to be tumbling and backflipping and stuff like that, tricking at a uh, nice little grass park that I recently found. It's gonna be the first workout of the day. So it is now time to go get a move on, and then later tonight when the sun goes down and it's nice and cool, I am going to do the calisthenics workouts, more resistance training based. But yeah, let's go ahead and stop wasting time and let's uh, do the first workout. I found it. I ended up finding it not too not too difficult actually uh, it was pretty easy but yeah let's warm up and let's do some flips I don't know how long I'm gonna be out here maybe for like 30 minutes or so um, nothing too crazy it is pretty warm so this is a uh, I don't want to kill myself here Okay, so this is moments right before disaster. <laughs> so if, uh, if you're my mom or my dad watching this, it's probably best to, you know, skip this part. Um, but if you want to see me fall, um, this is your warning. Also, this is uh, me a day after, and I'm, I'm all good now. So don't worry. All right, so that kind of hurt. Luckily, I'm hey okay. That was that could have ended very badly. So I'm kind of cutting the, uh, the workout short. Yeah, I'm going to go home and just rest. That was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. That's what happens when you don't fully commit. Shit like that happens. Ugh, so stupid. 
So I'm just chilling. My back and my neck feels a lot better now. So that's good. I'm still just gonna rest a little bit and then we'll see in a couple hours how I'm feeling if I'm actually gonna do my calisthenics workout later. Um, if not, then I won't. If I'm feeling good, then I will. We'll see. Catch you guys in a couple hours. Alrighty, so I've ultimately decided that it's time to go actually work out. The calisthenics workout is gonna be a little bit modified as you know, my back and my neck is a little bit sore, um, but we're still gonna go to the beach, do a little push calisthenics workouts. I'm going to eat a little banana. I did skip lunch because on days like this where I'm training two times a day, um, where I'm doing the flipping and the calisthenics, uh, the lunch doesn't really happen and I just have a bigger dinner. Uh, this isn't how I eat every single day, but for days like these, I am having a little banana as a snack and now it is time to go work out. We have made it. I am all warmed up. My neck and my back are feeling pretty good from the warm up, so I'm very happy that that fall, that backflip fail did not uh, <laughs> end up pretty bad, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna start with some handstand push ups, pretty, see how that goes, and then we'll uh, move on from there. Let's do it. Probably uh, almost a PR. Really? <laughs> Showing out for the camera, huh? I am very surprised that my back, my neck is doing A-OK -okay after the handstand push-ups. I'm feeling, I don't even feel it when I'm doing it. I feel a little bit of soreness, but I, I mean, to me, it's pretty much the same as uh, like waking up with like a stiff neck. That's like the soreness that I'm feeling right now. It's probably gonna be a lot worse tomorrow, but I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna leave that to a uh, cruise of tomorrow. As of now, Absolutely crushing the workout still. Let's keep it going. Out with some dips, nothing too crazy like I was saying, just handstand push-ups, push-ups and then dips. I don't want to do any planche stuff that's going to mess up my neck. So uh, we'll just end it with some dips. That's gonna wrap up the workout. Time to head home and actually fuel my body. I actually haven't had a real meal since breakfast. So I'm a, I'm a little depleted right now, but look at this. Look at this pump, bro. Woo. Crazy. For dinner, I get to splurge a little bit because I haven't eaten anything today, so my calories are really low. So we got one protein shake from you already know, Transparent Labs. Code Cruise, save 10% off. We got one sweet potato, two chicken quarters, some, uh, and some frozen veggies. Nice and delicious, quite a lot of calories here. This is pretty calorically dense. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll talk to you guys soon. So because my brother was sleeping yesterday, I couldn't really uh, talk about this the night of. However, a little voiceover cruise here. I did just wanted to quickly explain how I structure my eating on days that I flip and do calisthenics. So I do, you can see in the video, I did skip lunch because I train around lunchtime and I just eat more snacks throughout the day um, that are kind of equivalent to the amount of calories as lunch would be. If I eat a lunch before my flipping, then I'll be too heavy. If I eat a lunch after my flipping, it will be too close to my calisthenics workout and then it will hinder that. So that's why I kind of skip lunch on days that I train twice a day and I just have a really huge, um, really big dinner to make up for that. So yeah. That is how I structure and eat on days that I'm training twice a day. And just like that, that's also gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it. I really appreciate it. It is the day after 
the neck and back feels A-OK. -okay. Probably like a one or two out of 10 in soreness, not even pain, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. So I'm very grateful and very fortunate. That could have been a lot worse, but yeah, you know what? Don't want to dwell on it. For me, this is a learning opportunity to make sure I actually improve my round off because if I had a better round off, that would have never happened. You know, go back a couple steps, fix my round off, then stuff like that won't happen like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and peace out.